Boker Tov, everyone. Shalom. Rabbi Eric Salman, a gorgeous day in Raleigh, North Carolina. Beth Meyer Synagogue, some morning Torah. So I want to talk about Purim. So Purim's come up next week. We are in Shabbat Azachor, which we prepare ourselves for Purim, remembering the bad guy, Haman, Haman, Hagagi, and the whole amazing story. It's really a farcical story, but underneath it is some profundity. And in fact, um, the rabbis say that there's one holiday when Messiah comes, we'll, we'll keep practicing his Purim. So why so? So one explanation is um, the idea of mass. So on Purim, we, we dress up as the characters and you know have fun with it, or just dress up in general. We wear masks though. And the idea that, um, you know, masks or have fun are kind of, it's a opposites to kind of bring up something different in us. But the truth of the matter is what's profound about Perm is that we're always wearing masks, you know, different types of masks about who we are in different relationships, different places. You know, I, I wear the mask of, of a rabbi, you know, um, the mask of, of a husband, the mask of a son. I'm a competitor in sports, some of you know. I'm a fan, um, I'm a friend try to be this and uh, all these things these are different masks we wear sometimes I'm uh, you know again whatever we all have our masks so I want to tell a story about the, with how masks can switch around very quickly you know someone who's Queen Esther can switch even to <laughs> something different um, and it comes with my I guess from my father so my, my dad and I uh, had a great competition when I was a kid we had a little basketball court next to my house that we play ball every, up to 10 by one and when I was really younger, my dad had to shoot from behind a certain line, and we play back and forth. My dad always beat me, always. I got older, a little better. I get closer to beating him, closer to beating him. Probably around 12 years old. I lost like 10, 8, 10, 9, and I was hysterical and I was so upset. I was getting more mistakes. I finally wanted to win. I lost. And my mom come out and told my dad, Richard, let the kid win. Let him win. He's hysterical. Fine, after all these years. And my, my dad said, no, um, um, it's the Brooklyn way. He's going to beat me fair and square. He's going to love it. He's going to appreciate it. This is how he's going to grow and get better. After bar mitzvah, I was pretty short, but I finally got a little bigger. Probably around 13, half 14. A little growth spurt. And I beat my dad. And I'll never forget that day. I mean, I was, it's impossible to describe. Um, but in that moment, you know, I had a mask flip. On the one hand, I had the mask of the son defeating the father. I was a mask of a competitor. And I was wearing that fierce. I have the mask of the celebrant, and it was there, and that was fully on my face. But you know, soon after, I felt the mask of compassion, of something changing, of being a son who defeated the father, but also felt a little badly about it. Something, time had passed, and I was, instead of just being the son who celebrated, I was the son who felt a little sad. My mask, it you know, changed from like happy, like the Joker on the cards, like on the Jack. <laughs> very quick switch. So we all have masks and the masks can come, they can go, we flip around with them. Perm's time to be aware of our masks. What masks do we wear? What's underneath? What do we need to bring out? And be grateful for that change. Shabbat Shalom. Perm Sameach.